Hi and welcome to this month's Decred news update. Let's start with the latest development release of Decred 1.7.7. Before we begin, remember Decred is evolving money thanks to its decentralized treasury, which comes from the project's own block reward, and its hybrid proof-of-work proof-of-stake mining system which places coin holders in charge of the protocol, allowing them to vote to approve consensus changes, proposals, and set development course. Decred version 1.7.7 includes a number of improvements, and it is advised everyone upgrade as soon as possible. You can get the software from decred.org slash wallets or from the github link in the video description. The wallet launcher has been redesigned and now includes onboarding panels that help explain the various elements of decred and can be viewed while the wallet is syncing. The treasure wallet creation views have been revamped and should allow for a much better user experience. There are now question mark blurbs throughout the wallet when clicked and will direct the user to the proper documentation page so they can read more in depth about what that part of the wallet does. T-spends can now be voted on individually instead of by the overall signing pub key. This gives stakeholders more control over their voting rights when it comes to treasury expenditures. A new UTXO selection algorithm was implemented to pick UTXOs at random. This provides both performance and memory improvements over the previous algorithm. There were also a number of bug fixes, including correcting a deadlock during address discovery. SPV peer selection no longer requires excessive CPU usage when few quality peers are known, among other fixes. And finally, Decred version 1.7.7 includes the new DCR DEX version 0.6. This DEX release comes with a revamped UI. The markets and wallet page have been restyled. The new style is responsive with different layouts for various screen sizes. The registration fee has been replaced with Fidelity Bonds, which are time-locked contracts redeemable by the user that created them. Native Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash SPV wallets have been added and can be set up with the click of a button. Atomic swaps can now be performed with Ethereum and any ERC20 tokens. There is a DCR USDC market available, however it hasn't seen much use due to the high Ethereum fees incurred during the trade. The DEX devs also added a 20% buffer to the fee estimates to ensure sending ETH will succeed even if the network's base fee jumps up. Hopefully the Ethereum fees come down or a workaround can be found to make this trading pair more attractive. On the flip side, the Decred Litecoin trading pair is basically free to trade because both chains have such low fees. So ideally we see that market pick up with more liquidity. A good way to do this would be to reach out to people in the Litecoin community and let them know a service like this exists. An experimental market maker bot functionality has also been added, which will act as the framework to the future bot which is being developed. The first mainnet swaps with Digibyte were successfully executed. All in all, this is a fantastic release pushing the decks further. Looking at Bison Relay, Decred's own peer-to-peer -peer private chat and social media platform running on Lightning Network, we have a new version, 0.17. Some notable improvements include implementing a new version of group chats that introduces support for multiple admins, improved error handling and logging of failed payments such as tipping, improved help text for adding Lightning Network receive capacity, disallowing comments on relayed posts, commenting on posts will require a key exchange with the original author, added a sidebar notification icon for new chat messages and posts, added a prominent new post button that is easy to access from different views. When your nickname is in a message, that message's text is highlighted. A next important milestone is prepaid group chat invites, which combine prepaid invites with bundled group chat invites. New comments and posts are highlighted. And remember, storefronts and mobile wallets are still in development. Definitely check out bisonrelay.org to learn more. Looking at Politea, Decred's proposal platform, we have two new proposals. Decred Vanguard, a new outreach effort, is a proposal submitted by myself. The goal is to build out a grassroots community outreach program that works to inject Decred into cryptocurrency conversations around the internet. Basically, we want to create noise about Decred. We want more people to learn about Decred's tech stack, Decred's value proposition, and why it's a superior cryptocurrency. There are 25 total open slots for new members. Those in this program will receive $100 per month in Twitter Blue to help them promote Decred on Twitter. Members will coordinate in a newly created chat room dedicated purely to outreach. In this room, we will have a mid-journey AI bot that generates realistic photos based on user prompts, which will help members create memes and other art for Decred. There will also be four prizes each month worth $100 paid in Decred to members or non-members who have significant contributions. Anyone interested in joining should contact myself, Exodus, or Tivra. The total ask for this proposal is 46000 
$9,784. The BTC Echo content proposal requests $9,500 to create and publish two sponsored articles on their website over the course of three months. BTC Echo is a German language cryptocurrency news and investment website with its own podcast. The Decred community will have direct influence on the topic and content of the articles, though it will be written by editors at BTC Echo. First, there will be a premium sponsored article. This means the article will be published two times with a time gap in between to get double the attention from their audience. There will also be a standalone newsletter with the content of the article sent to BTC Echo's 23,000 newsletter subscribers. The articles will be posted to all of their social media accounts, and there will be a Decred ad read on their podcast focusing on the Decred decks. The ad will run for about two weeks. BTC Echo claims to have over 1 million unique users per month. Another goal of this proposal is to lay the foundation for a long-term strategic cooperation. Those looking to learn more about these proposals, or even to ask questions, should go to proposals.decred.org. Now let's look at some community updates, including podcasts and videos. Project lead J.K. Kampai was interviewed by Mind Your Biz with a focus on privacy. It is, we have something called that we, we call Stake Shuffle. And the reason we call it Stake Shuffle is because it's a specific implementation of a particular type of, uh, of you know, mixing. Where what we do is we blend our staking, which is you know something like 60% of the circulating supply of Decred, is uh, is tied up, and the bulk of that is mixed. So so that all your mixing is basically merged with the staking, which really hugely increases the anonymity set. So there's projects like Zcash that have a very serious problem in terms of like how many people are opting in to using uh, you know shielded transactions, and we don't have that same problem. We made something that was roughly a, you know it's a a more open source version of Signal that tightly integrates cryptocurrency, you know, the Lightning Network on Decred in this case, so that instead of, uh, you know, you can basically eliminate all metadata except for things like the IP metadata that we ju were just talking about in terms of uh, communicating with people by requiring a micropayment over LN prior to uploading, uh, you know, a piece of data. So, it, so instead of, for example, normally there's a server and there's like a Jake account and there might be a Seth account. And then somebody can be like, I can infer that the two of you are communicating by merit of the accounts on the server. Well, you can't do that with Bison Relay because what we've done is we've effectively eliminated accounts. Everything is just an opaque blob, an encrypted blob that gets uploaded. One person uploads it, one person downloads it. And in both cases, there's a there's an LN micropayment made in order to both send it and to receive it. So, so the idea is to create sort of the, the infrastructure for a parallel internet that can, that can function as, you know, basically social media, it can function as an e-commerce platform, it can function as a, you know, like a signal-like messaging system, but all in one place and without sort of the architectural problems that are present with moderated social media platforms the server operator effectively has no custody over the, the data payloads, that is the messages, or of the metadata that you'd normally see uh, moving on a server. So I, I, if you're at all familiar with Mastodon, there have been serious problems where people run Mastodon nodes and then they're like, I disagree with your politics, so I'm shutting your account down. So there's none of that. So basically it's all just neutral. It's all encrypted blobs flowing back and forth with a bunch of little micropayments to uh, prevent spam. Decred Society also has new tutorials on getting the DEX set up. Click on the dex.decred.org server. Step 9. DCR DEX doesn't take fees for any part of its service, but to ensure all parties, both users and servers, act in accordance to exchange rules, there is a fidelity bond that needs to be locked to participate. A user's fidelity bond is locked up for a period of time and then returned at a later date. On the dex.decred.org server, the fidelity bond can be paid in either DCR or BTC. Whichever method you decide to use, you'll have full access to all the trading pairs. I'll pay my bond using DCR. The current price is 2 DCR or approximately $40. At the bottom of this area is the deposit address for this account. Once this amount is paid, the setup will automatically move to the next screen. I'm hitting the pay button now. Once we have this confirmation, we can hit the register button and see an overview of the DEX. To start trading, we have to wait for our Fidelity Bond to gain two on-chain confirmations. And that's it. My DCR wallet is ready and fully synced to start trading. The easiest to set up are the internal native wallets, which we'll focus on here. Setting up a native wallet is effortless. Click on the coin in the left-hand sidebar, in this case LTC 
and you'll be taken to that wallet. If it isn't set up, you'll get the following instructions. Click on the Create a Litecoin Wallet button. The Litecoin Wallet has three options. Enter your DCR DEX passphrase and press Create. Before you can start trading, the wallets have to be 100% synced. Lead developer Dave Collins and project lead Jake Okampaya joined us on the Decred live stream to discuss basically everything going on. One of the major problems with email is, is that you can send email for free and you can't do that with Bison Relay. That is that there's always a cost to sending things via Bison Relay, which deters spam. And so the, you know, the major problem with, with, you know, with email is anybody can send to anybody. Even if I don't know you and I don't ever want to talk to you, you can just guess my email address, right? And boom, it's in a public directory. Boom, there it is. It shows up in my mailbox and I don't want to read it. What are the biggest challenges that you have right now or expecting to have while developing the mobile version of Bison Relay? I think one of the hardest things is that, you know, uh, Tivra has said this previously, Bison Relay is effectively the everything or the X app that, uh, you know, that, that Musk has referred to, you know, intermittently over the past, you know, 25 years. And that makes for a hard, a hard UI development process. That is that it's, you know, roughly, if I had to roughly describe it, it's like roughly like Telegram, but like it, it'll even include more stuff than Telegram. So it's like, basically imagine you took the web and you compressed it down and you're like, okay, we're gonna put like the entire web, all of social media and like e-commerce all into one app. <laughs> And that makes it, you know, and, and have it not be a flaming, you know, a flaming pile of garbage like most web browsers, you know, like a sprawling corporate blob that literally no one can rebuild their own uh, version. of. So to be able to merge these things in a coherent way without it becoming a cluttered mess is really, I would argue that that is probably our biggest challenge. Uh, you know, from, from the perspective of the mobile client in particular. The full video is over an hour long, definitely worth listening to. Decred Society released a helpful staking video showing just how easy it is. Decred's staking mechanism is extremely attractive to investors wanting to gain yield whilst holding DCR. Firstly, to participate, you have to buy a ticket. After loading the credit on and opening the wallet, head over to the staking tab. In this instance, the ticket price is approximately 211 DCR. I have a balance of 232 DCR, so I'm good to go. Select your VSP or voting service provider. Once you've selected your account and provider, then select the number of tickets. After this, hit the purchase button and enter your password. All that's left to do now is leave the credit on open and wait for the on-chain transactions to complete. For a ticket to enter into the ticket pool, it has to follow a sequence. First, Purchase ticket confirmation, which enters the ticket into the mempool. Second, mining fee has to be paid. Third, after one more confirmation, the ticket will get mined as immature. And then finally, the VSP fee will complete approximately six confirmations later. This can take a little time, but it's important to leave the credit on running until the transaction completes. Now let's look at some Decred Magazine articles. There was an inter-community talk with Digibyte. They are very interested about being added to the DCR DEX, where they can engage in peer-to-peer -peer trading using atomic swaps. Another altcoin article was dedicated to comparing Decred with Dash. Blockchain U wrote an informative article, The Paradox of Choice, Deciding Between Turing Complete and Non-Turing Complete Blockchains. He writes, understanding the blockchain you choose to invest in or base your project on is essential. In summary, being Turing complete denotes a system strength, complexity, and potential security risk. A non-Turing complete system, on the other hand, supports simplicity. Check out decredmagazine.com to read the full articles. Now let's look at network statistics. The current ticker price is 240 decred. 66% of the circulating supply is staked, meaning it's locked in decred's hybrid proof of work proof of stake mining system. The current hash rate is 75 peta hashes. The treasury is just over 850,000 decred, worth about 16 million US dollars. There's a total coin supply of 14,914,165 decred. 63% of the circulating supply is mixed using decred's stake shuffle privacy feature. Thanks for watching this decred news update. Be sure to check out decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.